Sega! Extras are actually pretty good. For instance, if you're a comic fan, which I... The only comic book I ever got into was the Sonic the Hedgehog comic. Um, so you have like, kind of an intro information about the comics. You have the entire Sonic the Hedgehog first. I forgot how to actually go to page. Oh, here we go. So yeah, there was a mini series that Archie actually released before uh, the main series called, I, th I guess it was called Sonic First, but it actually started with at zero, and it was numbered zero through three, and that's actually what got me into the Sonic comic because I saw the very first one, number zero, on the shelf at an HEB in Gatesville, Texas, and I'm like, oh my god, there's a Sonic comic. Mecha Madness was one of my favorites. That was freaking awesome. And just the artwork and you get uh, Sonic roboticized with Knuckles roboticized fighting him. And it's just like ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Anyway, let's get some gameplay here. So, interesting thing about this is you can actually play as Sonic or Tails. I mean, I don't know why anybody would want to play as Tails, but whatever. So you have like long lines of rings like that, but... You know, the way you approach them is vertically, you'd think that the... Ah, shit. That the detection on them would be a little bit better, so that way you can... So it'd be easier to get a long, long line of rings instead of just two every time you jump up. Rings are important. Is that a rocket shoe? It sure is. And hitting a spring gets rid of your rocket shoes. That's good to know. Whoa! See this. I shouldn't I should be able to get both rings. I shouldn't miss those rings going down this hill. That breaks the flow. I'm trying to get rings, goddammit. I shouldn't have to jump up to get the fucking rings. Have I mentioned I'm really good at Sonic games? Just thought I'd point that out. Whoa! Whoa. Anyway. Oh yeah, so another addition is these weird slanted floors. Which will throw you off if you go too slow. That's one thing that always throws me off in these damn games is every ledge he hits way too he like comes off of way too early. So I'm used to the 16-bit games where you know I have that few frames or pixels to jump, but he just kind of scoots off of it. It's a good thing Tails wasn't named in the in Europe, cause then he'd be kilometers per hour. Wait, actually I think I think there's stuff over here. Yeah, like one of these floors. And some rings. And a ring box that was mostly off screen. Well, that was a poorly timed jump. I just lost all those rings that I gathered. Because, like I mentioned before, I'm an expert Sonic, Sonic player here. No one else can match my skill. Oh! So, collecting 100 rings brings you to a bonus stage, apparently. Where you fly around... Holy shit! Ginormous rings! Sleeping egg zone. The fuck is a sleeping egg? So... What? Oh shit. See, right there! I, I was gonna jump at the very edge of the fucking platform, but he just fucking... Flies off. <laughs> I can still break parts of these blocks, but it doesn't really go anywhere. We <laughs> just fuck up the. Oh, and die. Okay. Is this another design flaw? How the fuck are you supposed to know which blocks are breakable? Oh, 100 rings. Oh, uh, this is new. Is each special stage different? Oh, shit. I got 10 seconds. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Shit. I'm not gonna make it. Ah. Oh, oh! I got it! I'm streaming! Hi! Shit. Chill with the fucking machine gun, dude. Yeah! Yeah! Bitch! Stay on top of your head. Go through this wall. Kill this guy for no reason. Break some shit.
play on some springs. Whee! So that's another thing that makes these fucking Game Gear Sonic games hard. Is the screen so fucking small? You have to have superhuman reaction speeds to avoid a lot of this shit because it, you just don't have time going as fast as he does. You don't have time to process the visual information in order to react. Plus the whole thing where you know you can't jump off of the very edge of a edge, edge of an edge. Yes. I know what I'm talking about. I seem to think like... You know, oh well. Uh, just the thing like... <laughs> shit, see, you can't go too damn fast. Because that happens. It's one of these and you don't want to stop because that happens. See, I want that because it rains. <sighs> oh, boss battle. Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> And I get squished. <laughs> Alright, so I do remember actually fighting this boss. <laughs> you don't want to fucking... You don't want to get... God damn it! I want the ring, but I don't want to get squished! Shit. Get... Quick! Fuck! Come on! One of these things... <laughs> okay! So he doesn't drop like that unless I'm right under him. I wonder if he's like reading me be on this side of the screen, like as a weird wraparound, like he's detecting me under him like that. Oh, let's see if we can get on that. I well, well. I'm glad that gave me enough time to react and you know jump off it before it fucking crumbled. Oh, it's a penguin army. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, okay. Okay, so he comes in the middle. Oh, and he bounces. Alright, well. Stop! Alright. God damn it! The fucking springs? Like, I don't even have to touch to activate, but the fucking rings? Have weird ass hitboxes? Oh, well. I did it! Wow, he... Oh, that... Oh, come on! Alright, do they home in on me? No. Oh, come on. So the hitbox on rings is super small, but the hitbox on enemies is big as fucking shit where you don't even have to be fucking touching it for it to kill you. One, two, three, four, five... Fuck! And I get squished. Oh, no. 